Hello class and welcome back to Khan Academy. We are doing this exercise set on computer networks. This diagram illustrates a wireless network made up of five devices, an Apple iPhone, an Android phone, a desktop computer, a tablet computer, and a wireless router. That router does also count as a computing device. Why are those devices considered computing devices? Well, if you remember back to our last video, a computing device is just a device that can run programs. That is the only requirement. So let's see what we've got as far as answers. They are all able to respond to user input, close but not quite. They can load web pages in a browser, not necessary for a computing device. They are capable of running computer programs. That's the one. Uh, they are able to send data to other devices on the wireless network. So a computing device does not need to be able to send data um, to be a computing device, right? In order to be on a network, it does. But to be a computing device, as I said, an, a calculator is a computing device. So running computer programs. Which of these configurations does not represent a computer network of six devices. The blue rectangles are devices, the green lines are communication paths. So this one right here, I'll even zoom in further. This one right here, that very much looks like one network of six computers. They are all connected together. Every single one of them can communicate with every single other one. So the answer isn't A. B here, we do have six computers that are mostly connected, but if you look really close, you'll see there are actually two separate networks of three computers each. This is not a network of six computers. This is two networks of three computers. B is going to be our answer, but let's go ahead and check the rest of them. C definitely is a network of six computers. All of them can take a path from one to the other. And same thing with D. Every single computer has a pathway to every other computer. So the answer is B. The following illustration represents a computer network. What is indicated by the lines between the computing devices in this illustration? So these are the computing devices. What do the green lines mean? Well, those are paths of communication between those devices. So, A, the computer devices are plugged into the same power source. Maybe, but not necessarily. B, the computing devices are able to send messages to each other. Uh, I would say that's probably the correct answer, but let's keep looking. C, the computing devices have access to a central database for storing program data. Not necessarily. D, the computing devices are all running the same program. Again, you don't need to be running the same program to be part of a network. B, the computing devices are able to send messages to each other. And when it says messages, it just means some sort of data. Last question. Which of these situations describes the creation of a computer network? A, a photographer organizes thousands of photographs and videos on their computer's hard drive. They create a hierarchical structure, hierarchical? Anyway, of folders with child folders nested many levels deep. So. Yeah, there's some sort of organization happening here, but it's all being done in one computer, so that is not a computer network. B. A college campus creates multiple computer labs in different parts of the campus and connects the labs to each other with underground fiber optic cables. Students can save their file on a computer in one lab and still access their files from another lab. That is, in fact, something my college did, and I do believe that counts as an example of a computer network. But once again, we're going to check the other answers as well. A programmer develops an interactive poster to help their baby learn the alphabet. The poster displays each letter of the alphabet with a push button underneath. The pu push buttons are input devices for an Arduino microcomputer. When the Arduino detects a push, it randomly picks a word starting with that letter and sends an audio file to a set of embedded speakers. That's a pretty nifty program, and I kind of want one of my own if I ever have kids, but um, it is not a computer network. It is once again using a single device. 
And then D, a software developer sets up a multi-monitor setup in their office. Their desktop computer, note computer singular, outputs to three monitors that are arranged horizontally across his desk. One monitor shows the browser, one shows the code editor, and one shows the terminal. This is kind of like what my setup looks like right now, but again, one computing device means it's not a network, so our answer is indeed B. And that, my friends, is Computer Networks on Khan Academy. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I will do my best to get to them. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time.